need to think a little bit about which bow is um, stronger and which is weaker. And to begin with, you may not feel there's any difference, but it's good to try and remember which is supposed to be strong. If you think of a forehand stroke in tennis or throwing something, most people throw more strongly in this direction, towards the body. And also if you think about gravity, gravity is helping you, helping your arm at least, to come into the side of your body if you allow it to relax. So when we start at the point of the bow, the tip of the bow, and then let the arm come into your side, that should have a certain element of gravity helping it, and that's our strong bow that we call forward or push. I'm just letting the arm fall inwards. And when I go away from the body, I'm actually going against gravity. And it has a slightly weaker feeling, usually, although you can make both strokes equally strong if you need to. And that's the back bow, or the pull bow. And on the way back, it's often nice if you can get the feeling that your arm is slightly outcurved and you're making a rather graceful movement like that, which will work fine as long as you don't lead from the elbow, which makes it all go wrong. So it's a more gentle movement, it's a more inviting movement, and it's often used for long notes that want to sound rather beautiful, rather than strong beats that might want... Mm.